Hey, it's Chuck Harstenson, Remax Results, and I'm doing another video here on the Investment Buyer Starter Series. The first tip was to get your financial house in order. Tip number two was some of the times the easiest way to get an investment property is to actually buy your next home and then rent out your current home. However, if you're somebody who wants to get into investment real estate and it's not an option to do that, then there's a couple things to think about when buying an investment property. One is, do you want to get equity by being handy? Meaning, do you want to buy a real fixer-upper, put some sweat equity into it? Got to keep in mind, you're going to need a lot of money down, and then you're also going to need some money to fix it up. Or if you're not somebody who wants to do a lot of rehab, then we got to maybe find you a good deal on something that doesn't need a ton of work that you can easily, quickly get a renter into. So for example, in my case, I actually rent a couple townhomes because I'm not very handy and I'm not gonna put the sweat equity into it. So I just wanted it something that was easy to move into, low maintenance, so I can get some renters going. You can do it either way. You can do, let's, let's get a fixer upper or let's do something that is easy to move into. Those are just a couple of ideas to get you started. So that's tip number three how to get started in buying your first investment property. Obviously, if you have more detailed questions for your specific situation, you can message me, give me a call, Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results. Happy to help you buy a home, sell a home, and of course, do these investment properties.